The Global Alliance for Buildings and Construction was the initiative of France and created at COP21. The idea was that actually the building sector has been overlooked in all the discussions uh, in the climate and in the decarbonization agenda overall. When we talk about decarbonizing, it's not just thinking about the operational side of things. Once a building is constructed, how can we actually use less energy in the building? It's actually also about all the construction process and everything that we put into construction materials. The roadmap in itself, what is really important is bringing all these different actors together so that they understand how they can increase collective impact. The first thing is we need to change the mindset of the stakeholders. Go for alternatives for river sand. Always don't use traditional materials. Go for fly ash brick. Don't go for clay bricks. Don't get uh, earth resources for our productions. We have a lot of alternatives we can go for. The question is, why is it that over the years we've not been able to make a considerable impact in the use of local building materials? Statistically, 60% of Ghanaians need some form of government intervention to be able to access housing. And we think that if we develop our local building material industry, it is one of the components that we will be able to use to unlock that affordability discourse. In India, what we see right now is that the material consumption is following very drastic patterns. We understand that the building and construction sector represents a huge percentage of that overall material uh, use. And therefore, it then becomes a huge leverage point as well and a point of intervention uh, for moving towards the responsible consumption and production patterns we talk of. The sector represents a huge opportunity in terms of not only being able to mitigate climate impacts, but also represents a huge economic opportunity in moving to greener buildings and construction practices. It is different from country to country and that's why the roadmaps are also such a good tool. Over the next 50 years we'll see tremendous growth. Um, you know, we need good buildings, we need many buildings um, and we need to make sure we build them in the right way. Um, and the roadmap is basically what can show you the way, how you can get there. One of the reasons that UNOS was brought into this process is due to the fact that we are an implementation agency. So while developing the tools and the guidance for the creation of the roadmaps, we're very much keeping in mind the fact that we do not want this report to be sitting on someone's desk. We need to make sure that it is implementable by key stakeholders. Halving construction emission today, it's possible, but it needs a radical collaboration, needs really a holistic approach from the beginning and making sure that all the stakeholders from material provider, architect, engineer, developer, financial institution, uh, user, they all need to come together to make sure that we achieve that. Il y a un besoin important pour les acteurs d'avoir une compréhension commune de ce que nous entendons par la décarbonisation du secteur du bâtiment où on a besoin de tous les acteurs de façon inclusive.